Hello everyone, Delightful here. I like the novel and the new, so today, well, let's see what the indie world has for me and you. Today we have Warden's Will, free demo playtest over on Steam. It's pretty good, I got 2.3 hours in this one. It's a Risk of Rain 2, like, pretty much, but there's a lot of meaningful changes here, because, you know, full disclosure, I don't like Risk of Rain 2. I didn't like the first one, and I don't much like the second one, it, it just it bores me. I hate to say it, because there's a lot of interesting things in the game, but it's not enough to, to keep me going. Whereas in this game, it solves that problem, right? There's a stamina system, there's an ammo system. Look, they let you freaking test right at the start. Like, I get this character here, they freaking, this character freaking fly. That's my stamina system right there. I have an air dash, which depletes stamina. Uh, my air, double jump, right at the start. I have my dash as well, and there are three characters at the start. You're not like doing the typical roguelike thing. Oh no, you get this one character, then you play that. You know, butt your head against the wall, because you can't win initially. Because you don't have the power progression for it. Oh, no, then you unlock another gun. Or more stacking meta progression. No, no, no. I haven't even really seen any meta progression in this game yet. I mean, there's one character locked for the demo. But you can, like, select four guns at the start, and they're all different, right? They all have alt fire, right? They all have alt fire. Look at this. And then, it's a freaking underslung shotgun. My alt fire is charged by my depleted ammunition. And see, it's like a yin-yang thing going on over there. You know, one goes up, one goes down. I'm actually going to play with these. There's a railgun, and a grenade launcher, and a laser, continuous fire laser, two other guns planned. It's a good game. Yeah. Oh, each character also has, see, fly, or, see, slicer, or dasher. Hover. Ha, ha, her. Right, she's a fembot. <laughs> she has a hover system. She's something like, like an Iron Man. Dander slapped Iron Man sort of thing. Orbital strikes. These guys get dashing. So they each have their own... Uh, navigation ability, their own active ability, and their own ultimate. Yeah, and the ultimates activate like immediately, and they're charged by dealing damage and stuff. I'm sure the game I like it. Deploy and then click B, and he goes, "It's dancing time." Yeah, I do a little robo dance there. Great. I like the cell shade look of the game. Very flashy. So I mentioned previously, not in recording. I don't believe the levels are actually procedural. It's a set map, like actually Risk of Rain 2. And the, the location of crystals in this. Crystals, yeah. And little antennae and tech chests and stuff are... Oh, that's not the right gun. Oh, well, we'll use this one first. No, I think not. You know what? Deploy mines. See, this gun's kind of... Boop. And I can light him up with the shotgun. I thought I swapped it. I must not have... Oh, well. See, I get a pick a... There are pickups, so the yellow bits there. Yellow bits. So this is currency that you use to activate these terminals here, activate these communication stations for an upgrade. And then the the green bits we'll talk about later, but I can destroy these these crystals there and get permanent shield. Those deal massive damage if you shoot them. Those positions are random. Yep, <laughs> wasted them. Be anywhere near that and it will hurt, like bad. Oh, all right, let's do my target lock on missile system. Rocket artillery engage. <laughs> Rocket artillery wastes everything. You know what? I'm not getting XP for this, right? I'm getting drops, which I can exchange for power ups. Permanent power ups for the run, but ah. I deplete the gun. So if I hold that down too long, it will deplete and it'll have to reload. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep the shotgun going too. Oh, money canister. So the, the location of money canisters crystals, tech chests, radar stations, the big radar terminal I have to turn on. That's all procedural randomized, I could say. And the monsters, they kind of spawn on you, like in Risk of Rain. The combat just feels so good, though. This is a good shooter. And the, the triggering sound when the drill bots attack you. Very good. Nope. See, if you look at the HUD on my, my targeting reticule there, uh, that white bar to the left is my stamina system. Like, it's depleted by my flying, my double jump, and my dash. Right? And on the right is my, my weapon system, and then my my ammunition system, right? My shotgun and my assault rifle. There we go. So I got 29, enough for a level up. What are we gonna get? I don't know. So it's not pick one of three on these things. On the tech chest it is sadistic. On hit, restore two energy. Energy is stamina. So that means I can... It gives me more mobility on hit. So you see my... Ah, laser system. All right, so as I'm shooting, I see my bar is going up. So it's up faster than it normally does. This gives me more mobility. What I actually should be doing is tracking down the radar installation, the, the comp satellite, wherever it is. Is that enough for a level up? 24. Ow! Oh, that, that, that hurts you. That goop there. The game might need a little bit, I think it does, 
needs a bit more of a notification when you hit. It's like a little slight little flash on the screen. But I don't know. I don't know if screen shake would be the solution. A lot of people don't like that. It can be a bit jarring. Like a static thing coming up when you hit because you're a robot, right? Money, money, money. Gimme, gimme, gimme. But yeah, the game has a great sense of scale. This is only the this is only the one map I've seen thus far. I'm sure there are others though. So you're getting a bit of currency. Now I get it for a level up. Now, like Risk of Rain 2, and the first Risk of Rain as well, monsters get stronger as you go, right? It's a timer up there. That's Shield Crystal. So I, I can fly up, you know. And there's no fall damage, you'll happen to know. Look at that verticality, it's incredible. Huge freaking levels. Which was such a big change from, say, the first Risk of Rain, which is flat 2D, right? Because then it was just... Like, I, I did not much care for that game. It just didn't feel fun to explore. It was right, you just go left, you go right, you know, you get level ups. Or is this at least I have 3D. I have three dimensions to play around with. Shotgun's pretty decent at range too. It's not like an embarrassing shotgun that's only useful like a, like arm's length. Minus 20% energy cost. Oh that's good. So now I can sprint and fly much farther. Give me some. Those will only give me that shielding from next to them. Ah, nope, nope. So you gotta choose when to engage, right? That's my ship over there. Where is the, is it red light indicating the comm station? Oh, it's a big spawn. All right, fine. Deploy mines. Yep. Of the enemies, there are enemy types. The the drill bots aren't so tough. The, the laser guys who hover are, tend to be a bit stronger. Take that guy out. You. Rocket boy. And each of the classes feel very different. Their active abilities, their movement, ah, depleted. the gun systems. Like, there's a lot of. Really? Wow, did you actually hit me? Good job. There's a lot of variants right at the start, which is good, because you often don't see that. We'll use roguelikes. Oh, other roguelikes. Because I don't consider this one a roguelike due to the lack of um, procedural generation on the terrain. Lack of procedural generation on the terrain, yeah. Just the randomized stuff. Oh, that is, that's healing. If I destroy those. That healing, yeah. Risk of Rain 2 gives you like a free heal over time. Yeah, this game does not do that. This is like harder Risk of Rain 2. With more systems to keep track of ammunition, stamina. Mm. You start with an ultimate right off the bat. More gun systems, alt firing systems. Where the hell is that thing? I'm up top. I'm really high up, actually. There it is. That's what I need. Alright, go, go, go. So I can fly quite a bit further now. No, alright, can I? There yeah, we go. That. Ah, there we go. Alright, turret system. Alright. Nope, no! Alright, deploy mines. No! Oh. Annihilator, yeah, I'm trying. Alright, so I can turn this thing on. And then it's like, first I was struggling, like, how do I get this thing going? I gotta feed it. You see those those green things? I stuff those green things in its little, little coin slot there. And it feeds it. And that's how I activate the thing. How that bar goes up. That alpha bar on the side there. Alright, the point lines. Go, go, go. See, it very quickly it becomes chaotic. Which is good, right? Keep you going. Alright. Fire off rocket artillery. Then the game decides, okay, now you get the big boy music, it's starting to pick up. Alright, see it's depleting my my energy crystals. I think it'd be kind of funny if you had to go go to the next thing, go to the next to the thing and slot it in, it goes yum 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 yum. <laughs> yeah. Give that bot some personality, right? It's very important with machines to humanize them, right? Because I don't know if it's some kind of weird bot or some kind of is there a human brain in there? Is it a cyborg? I don't know. Where are you? Where are you? No. More than three. Alright, there you are, you bastard. Right, give me the goodies, give me the goodies. Alright, I think this terminal is activated. Whoa, nope. Got break line of sight. Alright, that seems good. Let me know if I need to turn it down a little bit. It's like I balance. I spent like quite a bit of time doing like 11 videos audio balancing this damn game. Because a lot of the guns are. Ah, goddamn laser. They aren't really that balanced. Audio wise, the railguns are particularly infamous. Audio wise, see that they're getting a lot stronger. Alright, can I play mines? Okay, he's got that focusing laser, which is cooking me. Ah! 
It's not lag, buddy. It's just you. Yeah, I got lazed. I don't know. It looks like I activated the thing, but that's fine. That's not the gun I wanted to show anyway. Winter is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we try again, right? Now, note, I didn't get any minute progression on that. Nope. No, no, no. What I want is the plasma baller. Yeah. We'll try the plasma baller. And what the hell will be this guy? I don't much care for him. Yeah, his abilities are different. Look at this. It's, yeah, it's a gigantic grenade launcher. I love the gun, but his abilities are different. You'll see. He blinks around. He doesn't fly. Yeah. See, same map. See, I don't fly. I dash or I blink around because he also has a dash. Right? Everyone has the double jump and the, the dash. Healing crystal over there. Explosive crystal there. All right. See, the gun feels very different already. It's much better range. <laughs> that explosion. Oh, it's beautiful. See? And I can also... Where is it? That My ultimate ability isn't like a rocket barrage or like an Iron Man like continuous fire laser. No, it is a... Like a pretty much... He takes out a sword and cuts everything up around him. I have four melee weapons I have direct control over. Five. I need at least 16 for my first one. See, he's... Yeah, he actually drilled me in the air. Good for you. So yeah, his his mobility isn't as quick. He's not as yeah sluggish. But I can do this. Like he does like a three point dash and explodes behind him. Just and then this. He whips out a sword, gets all dramatic, and just yeah. It's too anime samurai jack for me. Nah, doesn't fit. I mean, if that's like your thing, go for it. But I don't know. Fly guy just seems the best, and he's the default. Yeah. Uh, 23. Yuck. Alright, how about this? Tech chest, what? See, they teleport in on you. I'm guessing they're attacking you because you're like, you're like, your material bits, and they disassemble things to repair themselves, create more of themselves, and repair their world, right? So you're just free bits, material they're gonna rip apart. Whereas you're scrapping them to repair the and to program the satellite so they do what you want, right? Or whatever your boss wants, right? Can I afford 23? Why? Why 23? Alright. Yep. Ah. ah. That guy. He's the one who got me last time. You know. The combat, the moment to moment combat feels really good. With the blasters and all that, they nailed that. Let's see over time my my alt fire is depleting. Ah, no. No. Because he's just this guy just feels slower because I can't fly. No. Ah! Got lays in the back too. No friendly fire on that, which is generous. Like you like try to like explode it point blank, guess you guys built to resist that. Healing, I'll take. There we go. Where the hell is that? No, we don't want to blow that. That'll probably kill me. Where? God, it's always in a different spot. Sometimes it's hard to see. You'd think the yellow would give you... Alright, fine. You know what? I'll show off my Cyber Ginsu knife, right? Cut them all up, right? Okay, then. No. But this gun's great. See how tanky they're getting already? Yeah. No. Oh, there, it's in there. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I just randomized in terms of the location. No fall damage. Alright, turn it on. No, oh god, no. I don't need cover here. Ooh, that's bad. Alright. See that my ultimate ability the Q there is building up as I. It's just it's it's slow. It brings me into close combat, and it's it's yeah. I don't like that ultimate at all. This character I don't much like. I figured I'd show him off because some people might like him, but I don't. He doesn't tick for me at all. 
His mobility is too slow. His abilities are too up close. I don't control direct control of the sword. It's like, mm. Shield, I'll take it. Uh, level up? Yeah, I'll take at least one level up. Thanks. 15% heat capacity. I think that's my my alt fire. Oh, God. Would you? The teleporting in of enemies, like, with no sound is jarring as all hell. Like, the buzzsaw guys make a sound. Look how tough I am. Oh, my God. Tracking lasers are just cooking me. Did I get the turrets? I did? Alright. Got the guy with that. And it doesn't feel satisfying to kill a guy with like little fart clouds you leave behind, like the fart explosions. That just. <laughs> I wanna. That's not how I wanna do things, you know? It, all this guy, he doesn't, do, he doesn't do it for me at all. I got coast. I right, go there. It's okay, though. He's still very different, right? Yeah, we'll try, we'll try out the, the girl. Hove her. <laughs> Life failed successfully, yeah, yeah, yeah. To the extent that robot was ever even alive, right? Hove her, so we're going to be next. And we'll show off a different weapon. She is Hove her, she has... We turned off the rad rifle, the railgun? Uh, I'll show the railgun next. I don't much like the Longinus rifle. Mm. Not really my thing, but... Yeah, yeah, she's getting down funky with it. Yeah. So yeah, it's continuous fire laser. That's kind of cool, and it's got good range, but... Mm. See, she hovers. I don't hate her. I mean, it's just... For the flower guy. Yeah, so these guys got a good tell when they're coming, right? You hear them spinning up. See, so I just kind of lays things. The damage is kind of piddling, middling, though. But I can also fire that orb. What you do is you shoot that, and it kind of, like, pulses. It's like... It's, it's... No, it doesn't do anything for me. I want to shoot the enemy, not the orb thing I shoot at the enemy. It's, it feels too much like a dot thing. Not to my taste. But some people might like it. Like, I can see that being very popular if you're playing it on gamepad. I did test this on gamepad. The movement feels really good, but the aiming, because it's, you know, a D-stick, it doesn't feel good. Yeah, it's a directional pad. Those never feel as precise as a mouse and keyboard, so I never play shooters like that. Even third person shooters, I mean, it's, it's like the only option you have, sure. Oh, I gotta. Yeah. Orbital strike. It's okay. Oh, yeah, and this. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy old powered. I just cook things. Like, Iron Man, you hover around, cook things with his little, like, little. This cold fusion heart thing he has. Yeah. But the gun just doesn't feel satisfying, is the problem. This thing. It's like, doo -doo -doo. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. But it's there if, if you're into that. Like, this would be fine, yeah, as I said, with, with, a, with a directional pad. Because it's not, you, you don't need to be as precise. Just hold it over and kind of drag, right? That's what you want to do. But I don't. But then you, and then she has a big boy version of it where she just melts things while hovering. Which just feels easy mode for the other guy. But it's a nice option. Like, it feels very different. I don't know if this is a bug or not. This seems like it's supposed to give you coins. It doesn't. Super early demo, but... You know, what I'm seeing, I like. It's good combat, so I forgot to show it. And it's tough. It's really tough. With her, I found it's best to just dash, because her, her ability is a hover, right? Dash. And then double jump. And it kind of just glide over places. Lays, lays, lays. And the third gun, the railgun I haven't shown yet, is kind of like the opposite of this gun. It's a semi-automatic kind of thing. It's just the audio balance on it. It's just... Oh, you'll hear. Oh, here we go. So the chest gives you a pick of one of three. Missing minus one's target health plus one percent to damage. One percent of anything does not interest me. I'm trying to look. Stop trying to laze me. I get a lame laser, too. All right. Shield dodge restores shield. Sure. Give me that. So... Eh, uh, no! Don't... Okay. <laughs> That's something else had that. That'd be scary. The game's nice, you can't cook yourself. I mean, I think it'd be more interesting if you could. God damn laser monsters. Leave me alone, laser bots. Where's the thing? It's randomized, right? The placement of the satellites, the chests, the... I was gonna say the monsters, too, but the monsters kind of just spawn at your location, right? They tele teleport in or whatever. Yeah. I think the characters feel slow compared to Flag Guy, you know? She gets... A, you know, she has a good bird's eye view of things. What the hell is the thing? Explosive things don't destroy those. 
bad things will happen if you do. Because it'll explode on you. That's the goop. The goop's always there, I think. So the, the poison acid goop pile doesn't move. Ah! So yeah, these, like, silent lasers appearing right behind me. That is not great. I mean, yeah, lasers, I mean, you can make, like, a, like, a sound that triggers on when the laser turns on or something. I mean, it's not gonna make it sound like a gun, but you might have, like, integrated coolers or something that are necessary to contain the thing. Or, you, know, you get, like, a power pack turning on, you get, like, a robot and you hear better. Yeah. The lays coming, like, right from behind you is not great. Where is that damn thing? It's not there. Oh, the game also has... Oh, they're working on planned online co-op. It's not live currently. Oh, right, so it's not down here this time. Not at the tree. Where is it? Hover up, please. Not here. Oh, man, where are you? Like, if I could like, get, like, a radar system, give me an arrow to point to or something, that would give me that. There we go. That's something I need. Like, you can kind of, like, look around, normally see it, like a red flash up, and then this draws the eye as well. And there it is. I found you. So get up high and look around. That's how you find things. It took me a while to find it, though. Maybe that's something I should note? Yeah, that's a suggestion there. Beyond just better hip feedback, particularly versus the laser guys. Triggering sound of the laser turning on... On enemy laser bots, a radar or compass indicating a radar location. Yeah, that's fair. A lot of people get bored if they can't find it. So it was down the whole time. All right, so I know we know when I drop down there, bad things are going to happen. But I can laze them very quickly. All right, so, sorry, engage it. So, unlike the the rocket artillery guy, like that you have to aim first. Whereas here I can just turn her on and just <laughs> melt things. And then she also has that. She does seem the strongest. But not the most fun. <laughs> Let's flip this on. Slip those in. Yum, 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 yum. Have they like a happy face going on, popping on this thing? Like, a, like have like a terminal there? And happy face comes in, yum, yum, yum. Oh, the... It's deploying. Very good. See, it's coming out. The radar installation is turning on. I see anything spawning. I think when critters are out, it stops doing that. Alright, feed it, feed it, feed it. Ah! No, it's still going. Not enough heat. I'm working on it. Alright, so it's transmitting something. Do you want me to go there? think yes I see why okay I'm um, hey no hey no no god damn that's got lays for like 40 yay enemies hit hard my guns kind of crap god damn. so I I think I have to go over there now okay okay oh is that jump pad what do you have there is you got no. no like you're not projecting where I'm supposed to go no okay then not enough energy. I know, I know. Alright, you start to bug me, guys. Ah, cook them. See how tanky they're getting? Oh my god. Oh, it's, it activated portal. Fascinating. So it opened a warm ga uh, a jump gate. I gotta get the hell out of here. Take the portal! No, no, it didn't. It's just that. <laughs> it just appears different. God damn it. It's not funny game. That looked like a freaking portal, right? Okay, I got some healing crystal there. Like freaking Stargate opening up. Okay, I'll take it. Let's get the hell out of here. Like that would be cool. And then like a, you know, a shield comes around the thing. And I gotta like fight a, a robo boss or something with his goons. But no, nah, I just gotta. No, nah, what's not the case? Crap. Crappy, crappy gun. Man, it's like Warhammer 40k, like flashlight, but continuous firing. Ah, goddamn tracking laser. You know what? Melt him. Where are you? Right. I can take a level up, I guess. Can't choose. 
On kill, 5% max energy. That's so middling. Like, who cares? Are we getting a little closer? No? Okay. No. Enemy lasers are actually very dangerous because they actually move pretty fast. Whereas most shots do not. God, this is so tanky now. Uh, four, 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 four. My god, I'm working for it. The ultimates seem to do massive damage, though. Oh, I got a pick of. On crit here. Oh, crit. Fine. I'm assuming a 1% crit chance. I don't know. That was a crit there. Okay, okay the laser can crit. Oh, that's nice. Yes, okay. It helps. Just kite this thing, lazing it. Ah. Alright, now where the hell do I go? Active transmit. I activated. It says activate transmitter. So you think it'll like show you the direction of the last one? Maybe it was? Like, that would be fair, right? Get the hell out of here. Bail, bail, bail. So tanky, so tanky. I mean, I need their little RTG. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the geysers randomized as well. Those are pretty cool. Like, geysers are actually really good for her because she's a hover. A hover her. Ha ha ha. Because that's her name, you see. Yep, oh, not energy. God damn it, that's what. This is annoying. Because the, the red draws the human eye, right? So it draws me that way. But it's... it's mm. God damn you bastards. Right, so it's not there. It, it says transmitters, ergo, I can assume there's more than one. I have to find it. Thus, the importance of maybe being able to... If I get low, I should be able to dodge a few of them. The importance of being able to... Make sure I'm going the right way. Because I don't know if I am. I'm just kind of guessing. Ooh, where's that? Ah, my god. No. Okay, ah, ow. <laughs> Goddamn lasers. I right, do that. Right, ow. So many pricks. Alright, see so that is going up. Laze, laze, laze. And disintegrate, please. Just vaporize. The ultimates stay very, very powerful. Whereas the gun does not. Okay, go, go. I need a shield right, right here. That's the right thing. Good. The bigger ones giving their shielding. I can work line of sight. Dude. Ah, lasers! Lasers everywhere! Future's horrible! <laughs> God damn it! Alright. Alright, is it in the tree? Maybe, maybe the new, sa ah, the new satellite thing spawns? Yeah, the game. The music's getting even more intense. Leave me alone. No. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right. Sudden change in elevation and lose a little tracking laser. What is this, please? Eight shield will take it. Like, where the hell is it? Like, it seemed, it was indicating it was over there, right? I went that way, and then it lured me back. Give me the money. No. God damn it. All right, I'm below the tree. No, no, I right. like that. Be like that. So like risk of rain, but harder. <laughs> ah. And more things to keep track of. Stamina, energy blasting. Oh, fire on your weapon. Ah. The ultimate you get immediately. Uh, trying to keep track of one you need to level, because I'm not getting XP for kills. You know, I'm, I'm not. I'm getting... Drop, so I'm indirectly getting XP for kills, but not directly getting power boosts or anything. And they are getting stronger moment to moment. And the AI building them is just determining, studying my movements and specializing them to, to waste me even more efficiently. God damn. Melting these things is taking longer and longer. Ah, nope, nope. I melt you. Give me the money. Give me all the money. I got, I got lays a little bit. See, I could barely even tell. I go, go. I need, I need to. Ah, yeah. See, flyer wouldn't get hit by that because flyer would have some. I could just fly down. Hover, she hovers. Ah, describe my failure. Yeah, thanks, game. Try one more time. It's hard. You see, it's a hard game.
I really hope you actually can win it. But, you know, another... Listen. Oh, that's not the right thing. God damn it. I want... Railgun. Thank you. So that's cool. Some of the magic hits pretty hard, but... Yeah, you feel like hear how shrill that is? I've tried to audio balance that. That needs to be tuned down. It's just too shrill. The gun's not bad. I mean... I'm pretty sure it's gonna punch through things. Like, the, this alt shot is gonna... It's like a lightning bolt. It's gonna punch right through. Alright, so... We've learned, get up. Get up to verify where exactly the transmitter is. Then turn it on. And then do it again, I guess. I'm sure there's another one somewhere. See so how quickly this guy is? How quickly I traverse? Now we're down. You know what? Pew, pew, pew. See? It's, it's a pretty good gun. And then... Pew. Yeah, that's kind of loud, eh? Kind of loud. I will say it's very easy to keep track of the charging, because of how slow you fire the charging of your alt weapon as well. Like, these guys are good, the drill bot guys, because you can hear them coming. The laze guys, not so much. I don't have enough. Where is it? There it is, it's right down here. Fortunate. So, the thing about me finding this early is that, well, yeah, I can, I can clear it easily. I'll be able to clear it. Because I have my ultimate. It's just. I'll take a few hits, of course. Deploy mines. Deploy mines. Oh my god. Ow! But. Getting them done early, they won't be as powerful. As tanky, really. This is the specific word I should be saying. Tanky. No. 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 Mines. All right, turn on. There we go. And it'll feed off all my my RTG energy crystals I've been gathering. So stuff them in, right? Meanwhile, I'm gonna go over here and get some healing off this mid-sized crystal. You only get the healing through adjacent, right? So you gotta. Ooh, that's a full heal, nice. Well, like 25, but that's all I needed. No, no, no. Break the line of sight and like, oh, God, he lays me. Could you even tell? I saw the HP move. Oh, that's, mmm. That makes me salty. Yeah. I don't know if it's a bug or what. We'll assume it's a bug. Lasers can damage you through structures. I mean, I don't know. I'd assume that radar installation is tough enough to ward off, you know, a laser. The thing looks pretty thick, right? That didn't feel that didn't feel fair. This will give me like ten. Ten, yeah. Looked it. Looked like a ten, didn't it? I need more energy, so I gotta kill more mobs to to be able to activate that. <laughs> Come on. And then who knows where it's gonna send me? I don't even know. But I am liking, like I played this character before. See how different it feels? God damn you, laser pricks. Leave me alone! Right, you know, you get, you get the missiles. Enjoy the rocket artillery. Right, what do you have? On hit, rocket. Damage. 41 rocket. What does that mean? I do 40 more damage? That's unclear. I'll assume that's what it is. 22, and I can pick one of three. Oh, a shield. Yeah. So I always have at least two shield. Uh, that's kind of middling, but it's something. I need more... more energy cells. Oh, you'll notice, I cannot shoot enemy shots out of the air. That'd be kind of cool if you could do that with the railgun. The railgun could shoot enemy shots out of the air. Or maybe, like, diffract the beam of the laser so it's a little less powerful. That'd be cool. I mean, it'd be like a little little thing, right? Because how often are you going to be doing that? Oh, bait them, bait them in. Come look at the red crystal. It's so pretty. Right. Yeah, blew it a little too soon. See, the big shot doesn't seem it does much. Ew. I didn't fire that rocket. I just... Oh, it's just, okay. I got like a little point defense system rocket, which is kind of cool. 
I like that. Each run's feeling a bit different here. That, that's a powerful ability. I thought it would just add 40 to whatever my rocketry was, which is okay. I mean, yeah, it's kind of whatever. All right, I gotta get back to the thing. There you are. All right, plug these in. No, 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 no! Hey, hey! God damn you! Damn you, laser prick! I think he was a laser guy. 88, nice. All right, stuff him in. All right, it's activated. And it's telling me, go over there. It's like, you goddamn bastard. All right, fine, I'll go over there. Maybe it's the big thing. Maybe it turned on the big thing. Oh, goddamn dragon laser, leave me alone. Maybe it turned on the big thing. Maybe. Oh, healing. Oh, let's go, go see. Oh, and some shield, nice. This is very good, it pulls me in. Shield, uh, there we go. Uh, like, that's only a threat if it creeps up behind you. Like, that'll hurt. That primary, that alt fire doesn't seem... It does enough. 30. Give me the money. Should be enough for a level up. And give me the shielding. 20. 15. 16. I don't think you get headshots, but then again, these are bots, right? Don't You don't know where they stuff the CPU. It might not be in their head. So I'm okay with that. Ah, no, no. We never level way out for me. Persistent heat capacity. Yeah, I mean, all right. So I can build up more capacity on my gun, my rail, if I want. Activate transmitters. All right, deploy mines. Deploy mines. Go. Those guys right there. No, oh, no, no, no. I like the music they're using too. They, what is it? Very synth, very dark wave. I like it. Is it? Didn't turn on anything down there. Alright, fly up, fly up. I have verticality here. Massive amounts of verticality, so use it. Rocket artillery of his own. Very good. So, like Risk of Rain, too, you have your sort of air quote artifacts lore left there of stuff you pulled out of the tech chests and the satellites, little comm stations. I do like the gun. I do like the railgun quite a bit. It's just the sound, it's a good little bit of much. Let me know if it's too much. Because it was the one I spent the most time trying to balance. And you see, I don't have to reload if I appropriately balance my. my Surplus energy, which I'm using to charge the alt fire. It's not? Oh, shielding, I'll take it. Four, thanks. It's not up here. Not there. Cool. Like, I did the thing. Do I have to go up there? Like, how the hell did I get there as Blinky Guy? Is there like a tether I can get track of? I don't know. I heard you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's flashing over there for an upgrade. I can take an upgrade over there. But I need... You know, a jump pad. See, the railgun's got quite good range. Is it through the causeway? I don't see it. I don't know if you see it, I'm, I'm looking. Alright, that's the goop, the battery acid pit or whatever. Alright, explosive, explosive. It's not over there. Activate transmitters. There have to be more than one, right? And yeah, I do not see more than one. I gotta go. Ah, no! Alright. Jesus. Ah, oh, you've been waiting for me, really? Gauge rocketry. And they're getting tougher now. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, you blew up the thing I wanted, you bastard. Alright, fine. Well, maybe I did it by rocket. I wanted a shielding. Off. Uh, take like six hit points here. Ten, my bad. 
Like, is it, do I go to this? Like, I wasn't able to do anything with this. Every one second I can do a, a double jump, assuming I can afford it. See, this gun would be absolutely not so great with the gamepad. Things gonna trigger. Can I like, get in here? No. No. I mean, it gets me high up so I can study my environment and see where they. Ah, uh, no, 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 no! You goddamn laser bastard! The game has decided I die now. I don't know how many things I've killed. Let's see, that got him from there. So they, they just keep teleporting in. Ah, dang, that got me. I'm gonna be so salty if, like, oh no, hey, sorry guys, the, <laughs> the second radar installation doesn't spawn. Har har. It's like, god damn it. That might be the case. Ah, I just got disintegrated. Couldn't be a second longer. Well, you know, if I knew where to go, I think I could have done that. Anyway. This is Warden's Wheel Demo. It's a super early look at it. It's fun. It's just, you know, hopefully you can find the second radar installation. They need a compass thing that will show you where it is. Particularly after you activate the thing, like it should point towards it. I thought it was, but I went that way and I didn't see it. Anyway, if you like Risk of Rain 2, but you want a stamina system and cool guns that you can have, like, your alt fire... Your, your primary fire charge your alt fire and your alt fire recharges your primary fire. It's, there's a lot of interesting stuff in this game. It's just, it's a very rough early look at it. But it's fun, so I figured I'd show it. Uh, check my notes quickly, see if I missed anything. Risk of rain difference. There's no XP from kills as well, yeah. Because you, you, this focuses you, well, first you're going to be stronger because you're not balanced off that level up of needing that. And it makes you want to push for the, the stuff you can find. The upgrade chests and stuff. Anyway. Wardens will, everyone. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.